A while back, I made a video discussing whether erudition was inherently bad. Overall, my opinion was that it wasn't, but rather the game in its current state at the time didn't really have content that allowed erudition to really shine. In the current state of the game in 1.2, a lot of erudition characters have been viewed a little bit more favorably, but overall they still lag behind their hunt counterparts. And now, with the release of Blade, this problem seems to have exacerbated. Destruction seems to be rapidly taking over the role of erudition, which made me now wonder whether erudition will be pushed further into the realms of underperformance. This is what we'll be discussing in this video. Has destruction taken over the role of erudition? Before we unpack this subject, if you want to see more Honkai Starial content, do consider subscribing to the channel. Briefly speaking, the three damage type paths are designed around the number of enemies they can target. Hunt characters do the most damage to a single target, making them good for bosses. Erudition can hit all targets, making them supposedly good for groups of weaker enemies, and destruction sits comfortably in the middle. With Blade's arrival however, the damage he seems to be capable of doing is pretty high, and his kit allows him to hit multiple enemies at a time, while at the same time dealing more damage than a typical erudition character. So say you have a single slot available for the DPS role on your team. Someone like Blade seems to be a better choice in general as they can hit multiple enemies and do respectable damage at the same time. Only if you have issues dealing with a boss enemy do you consider bringing a hunt character, but in either of these circumstances, an erudition character may not be at the top of the list. Most bosses we face now also seem to have a lot of minor summons. For example, the Ebon Deer summons those branches and vines that get pretty annoying if they aren't dealt with, and the most recent boss, Fentilia, also summons several plants that can steal skill points as well as debuff your team. In both these circumstances, bringing an erudition character may allow you to deal with the ads, but will take you forever to bring the boss itself down, making it a battle of attrition you might end up losing. Now you might think that this is a problem only because of Blade's kit, and it's not representative of destruction overall, but the next destruction character is Imbibata Lune, and for those of you who have played the story and seen what he can do, again, he seems a far better choice over erudition characters. Imbibata Lune is able to do a truckload of damage with multi-hits in a single attack, meaning he can not only deal damage but also be pretty good for breaking which is a meta all its own. As with the previous video, I'm pretty sure some of you will bring up Jing Yuan, and again, for me, Jing Yuan is an outlier because he is indeed strong. He can function well as both single and multi-target because of his lightning lord, but if you compare the erudition roster as a whole, it paints a different picture as Jing Yuan is not the only erudition character available. So while destruction does seem like it's out to literally destroy the purpose of erudition, the problem doesn't stop at destruction alone. Even the DPS we are getting for Nihility seems to have built in multi-target functionality. Kafka for example can trigger dots on multiple enemies and her skill can hit more than a single target. Pairing her with Sampo, who again can hit multiple targets on both his skill and ultimate and it becomes fairly evident that AoE is no longer unique to only erudition. This problem may also stem from sources outside of character design. For example, Nihility got a recent buff during the Silver Wolf patch, with effect hit rate and resistance being altered making all Nihility characters good overall. But I don't recall anything similar happening that would increase the performance of erudition characters specifically. Most other paths also have pretty good light cones, with Destruction for example having a pretty good one for free in Herta shop and many viable 4 star ones while erudition light cones seem to be more specific to each character. Also, as I mentioned in the previous video, there just isn't any content at the moment that necessitates an erudition character. Now, not all hope is lost. Firstly, we have seen glimpses of some limited time events that do benefit erudition characters greatly, like the Stellar Flare one where clearing low level enemies quickly with unique modifiers was the name of the game. Even in patch 1.2, there are new enemies that continually summon more enemies like the Abundance Wolves that at least make erudition slightly more favorable when up against them. Plus, with the new 1.2 event, the goal is to clear enemies as fast as possible in the lowest amount of turns to rack up points 
and this sort of event makes erudition characters have a bit more value. Again, these do not fix the problem that exists here, as destruction characters can largely supplant the erudition in these type of contents as well, but it does give a glimpse into what direction the game could take to largely solve this current problem. There is also the fact that despite Blade seemingly ruining the function of erudition, characters like Blade who are low SP and self-sustaining can end up enabling dual DPS compositions. This means that you could potentially run someone like Blade alongside an erudition character to really speed through fights that have a lot of enemies, and allowing Blade to somewhat cover the single target portion while the erudition character deals with AoE. Perhaps in the future, you might get a low maintenance hunt character as well, which may enable this sort of team composition even further. Speaking of future content, I'm going to talk about some stuff coming out in the next few patches here because I think it's relevant to this discussion, so if you're not interested in finding what those are, consider this a spoiler warning and I'll leave a timestamp for you to jump to. So in a recent leak, we have also learned that the simulated universe is getting a bit of a content upgrade where different paths can sort of be working in combination with each other. Basically, if you have some Han buffs and Abundant buffs, for example, there seems to be some mechanic that allows you to mix them for combined effects. We don't currently know the details of this at the moment and it can change in the future, but it might be possible that sometime in the future, erudition characters can take on the traits of other paths and perhaps there might be characters released who could do just that. This would blur the lines between the three main DPS paths, but can probably increase the stock of erudition characters a bit more, though if this were to happen, then I don't really see the point of categorizing them differently. All in all, with Blade's release, it does seem that erudition have taken another blow to their relevance, at least to me, and while they still outperform practically every other character in Calyxus, they are likely the last to be picked for any other thing. Unless of course you enjoy the characters for reasons other than efficiency. The next few patches does seem to focus more on destruction and hunt characters, but I hope that at some point in the future, erudition gets some love thrown their way. I'll end the video here and if you found it entertaining or even helpful, do consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Let me know what you think about this in the comments and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and as usual, have a nice day.